Hi everyone, in this video we'll see how to develop on EOS blockchain. We'll see how to use these uh, official uh, images uh, provided uh, by EOSIO and uh, we'll use uh, EOSIO EOS and uh, EOSIO Builder. And uh, the purpose of this video is to try the smart contracts that are in the main repository on uh, GitHub, these uh, contracts. Okay. So these are the instructions. The first step is to clone this repository. It's uh, quite simple. There is a Docker Compose file to, to start the containers. There is a, a bash rc example file to, to set up some more uh, details. And then we have the playground folder, which is the folder that will be available inside the develop, development container. So I already cloned this repository, EOS Playground. Uh, then you need to pull the latest uh, images used by the Docker Compose file. And uh, this will take uh, some time. And uh, then you need to provide uh, some uh, volumes. Okay. We have uh, the volumes where some uh, persistent data uh, will be stored. And uh, then we need to um, take the uh, contracts directory from the original uh, repository. Okay, uh, we need the uh, SVN CLI tool to, to grab these uh, contracts. Okay, we have the latest contracts uh, from the official repository. And then we need to provide our uh, BashRC file. It will be used uh, um, when we will start the containers. And uh, in uh, this best, uh, BashRC file, uh, we just uh, provide uh, some uh, aliases for the tools that we will use. Okay. Now uh, we need uh, two terminals, uh, one for the blockchain logs, and the other one to interact with the, the blockchain. So I, I already have a terminal. I open another one and I start with the Docker Compose app. As you can see, there are the blocks and you can see the ashes. Okay, I change again the terminal. And here we start the container uh, with the environment and all the tools we need to interact with the blockchain. We need to, to use the same user we use in the host system. Okay, and now we can check that everything works with this command. Uh, okay, we have the block. And as you can see, the blocks are increasing. Okay. If you want to clean the entire environment, we can use uh, these uh, uh, commands. Okay, in, uh, in the BashRC file, there are some common uh, commands uh, which allow us to, to start uh, to develop the smart contracts. And uh, so let's start 
with the, okay um, we have a first run and a second run this because uh, the wallet is uh, will be saved in the persistent uh, volume so when when we start we can create the wallet and the wallet uh, is um, is the default one and uh, we need to remember this uh, smart uh, master password when we run this container again so i save this key and i put here just to to remember okay and then we can uh, create uh, some keys like this it's it's a pair uh, public and private key or um, or we can import them with the Clios wallet we can see all the commands that we can run with this sub command and so keys we see we have some keys loaded but we can also import new ones Clios wallet import this one which correspond to this public key okay and we have uh, imported our first private key okay uh, then we um, can insert our first contract the EOSIO contract and uh, we can find it uh, here contracts yosayo bios so um, we need to run this command okay but uh, before we we need to to compile and generate the wast file um, the original EOS CPP uh, command um, it's slightly different from uh, the one we will use here because it has uh, different uh, paths. So we use uh, this one EOS IO CPP fix. So EOS IO CPP fix contracts EOS IO BIOS. And this is the CPP file. Okay, we have some problems with the paths. So to, to run this command, we need to, to enter in the contracts directory. So contracts. And I modify and I remove contracts from the path. Okay, uh, we have some warnings, but uh, we also have the WAST file uh, generated. Okay, uh, we need uh, some uh, users, and I use this one. and uh, i use also this one but i i want to use uh,
Okay, uh, now I generate a user with the public key that uh, I have loaded. So I run uh, Clios, create account, EOSIO, and I call user zero. And uh, I paste uh, twice the, the public key. Let's check. Okay, I can't use a zero. I user new. Okay, and uh, now I can. Uh, uh, see all the accounts uh, um, attached to a public key. Okay. We, we have a user new attached to this public key. And now we can test the Hello World smart contract, which is located inside the contracts. Hello. I, I copy it because I don't want to modify inside this contract directory. So copy contracts. Hello. Hello. R. Okay, so we have a copy of the Bismarck contract. We can uh, try to, to change it, change it. And now we need to produce the WAST file again for this project. So, uh, EOSIO, CPP fix. Okay, we have the last file, as you can see. And now we need to create an account to deploy this contract. So I'll run this part. And we also need to provide the public key. Okay, and now we can set the contract. This one, and then we need to provide the user. Okay, the contract is deployed. And uh, we can test to, to interact uh, with it. Also, we can check uh, the blockchain. Okay. If uh, we scroll. Okay, you see the smart contract uh, data. This one. Okay. And to interact with this smart contract, we need to send an action. So this is the name where we deployed the contract. Okay. And we see the, the name of the user which is passed here. And also, if we go to the logs, we see the same interactions with the blockchain. This one. 
I hope you liked the, the video and uh, that's all. See you. Bye.